If you need some easier access and better protection for your 2021 or newer four-door Bronco, this set of Red Rock side armor with the step pads in texture black will do just the trick. Now these will offer a solid step up into the cab, great for the Bronco owner who wants to make their life a whole lot easier, especially when having a lift kit or a leveling kit installed. Now this will also offer some outward protection to the rocker area while keeping a pretty compact design, which will be useful off-road when you need a step that's a little bit higher clearance, but you also want that coverage for your rocker area, especially on the day-to-day -day basis for door dings in the parking lot. Now, in addition to the function that you'll get with these, you're also gonna get some stylish off-road appeal that will match with any other heavy-duty accessories that you pair with it. These will be made of a heavy-duty tubular steel construction, which will be able to take a hit when needed. Now, these will also have a nice texture black powder coat finish on top, for the added protection to the steel underneath, of course, to prevent rusting over time, but it's also going to assist in a more heavy duty look to the Bronco. Now, what I like most about this setup is that this is gonna have a full tubular build with the exception of the plate on top, which is gonna offer some function of a rock slider being able to maneuver off of obstacles when needed. And again, it's gonna have a four inch wide steel plate on the top for accessibility for the cab. And the steps in the front and the back will also have some raised cutouts, which is gonna help you with a little bit of extra style, but mostly for that extra traction, which is especially helpful in wetter conditions. These will come in at roughly $500 for the set, which I would say is pretty average for what you're getting here. Now these will do a great job at balancing function and protection while also offering a great amount of accessibility. Now other choices for rocker armor or sliders may not have the accessibility aspect and mainly focus on protection or they'll have a different design to the step like a drop step that could potentially get hung up off road if your main concern is clearance. I think if you're in search of that balance and you're looking for a set that's going to look good as well, this is gonna be a great option. Install on this is gonna be a simple one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, taking you about two hours to get the job done with some basic hand tools. At this point, we can head over to the shop and check out a detailed breakdown of the install and what that looks like step by step. So that's gonna wrap it up for me. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Tools used for this installation, 3 8 electric ratchet, 16 millimeter socket, 17 millimeter wrench, and 3 8 ratchet. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to install our side armor with step pads on our 21 Bronco. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do on our install is we're gonna install our brackets here that are gonna go on the side of the vehicle. You're gonna have one here, one right about here, and one right here. Now, as you notice, there's two different kinds of brackets here. This one here with the flatter pads there that are spread further apart, it's gonna be our front bracket. And then we're gonna install these two here one there, one there with the bolts that are supplied. So let's get started. So now we're at the back of the vehicle, close to the tire. We're gonna install our first bracket here. I'm gonna take a, our 16 millimeter with a lock washer and flat washer. I'm gonna get these started. So I'm just gonna get the top one started here. And then I'm gonna do the same with this bottom one here. There we go. And I'm gonna run them in by hand as far as I can. And the same with this one. And now that we have them in place, I'm gonna take my 16 millimeter socket with my 3 8 ratchet and tighten them up. And the same with the top one. Now we're going on to our middle bracket. Now we have another hole here and a hole here. Again, these holes, just like the ones in the back, are already drilled and tapped from the factory. The front ones are done too. So we're just gonna take our bracket stick it in place, take our 16 millimeter with our lock washer and flat washer. And I'm gonna get this one started too, just like I did the back one. And then start the bottom one. That's that one, and then I'll snug the top one up. Again, I'm gonna take my 16 millimeter socket, my 3 8 ratchet, tighten the bottom one up first and the top one. And now that I have those tight, we'll go on to our front bracket. Now we're on to our front bracket. Our front bracket's shaped a little bit different. Again, our 16 millimeter bolt, lock washer, our flat washer. I'm gonna get it started here. And I'm gonna do the same with this back bolt. Get this one started. And I'm gonna run them in by hand as far as I can get them. Like that. 
Take my 16 millimeter socket, 3 8 ratchet, tighten them up. Same with this one. Now we're ready to install our step bars. So now we have our brackets on. We're going to just rest this in place and then I'm gonna get a bolt started to hold it in place. So you're just gonna to wanna to take it, line it up. Sit it in place like that. And now we'll get one of the bolts started in the middle. That'll hold the uh, set bar in place. Now I'm just gonna reach in here with my 16 millimeter and get this bolt in place here so we can hold it, the step bar in place. There we go. And once you have it like that, you can let it rest. That'll hold the bar. Now we'll start our other ones. We'll start at the back, put our bolts in, get everything in place to start tightening things up. So now that we have our bolts holding the center up, now we can come to our back bracket here in front of our rear tire. And what I'm gonna do is just get um, a 16 millimeter just like this with a flat washer. I'm gonna put it in place here and get it started. I'm gonna hold the step bar up and put a flat washer here. Put a nut on the back side of it. And then I'm gonna do the same for the top one here. I'm gonna get a bolt started like that. I'm gonna get a flat washer and nut. And get this started and stick this on. Now once I got them to that point there, I'm gonna take my 17 millimeter. I'm gonna take my 3 8 electric ratchet here. I'm gonna snug these up and then get the side step bar. You'll see I'll move it to get it where I want it. So I'm gonna side, uh, run these in for a little bit and get them snug. Again, I'm gonna use my 17 millimeter, my 3 8 ratchet with 16 millimeter socket and run these in and snug them up. I'm gonna get them just snug because I'm gonna wanna move and adjust this. And now that I have them snug, I should be able to twist the bar where I want it and hold it up. Put the wrench back on in place. I'm gonna use the ratchet for the gun to tighten one of them up. And now that I have that tight, I have the step bar where I want it. I'll tighten the top one up here. Now we're at our middle bracket here. We have both our bolts and nuts started already. This is what was holding it on when I first put it on. I'm gonna take my 17 millimeter wrench here and go on this nut. I'm gonna take my 3 8 gun again and run this in. And I'm gonna do the same with the bottom one. Now at this point, I don't have them super tight yet. I wanna be able to move the bar right where I want it. And now I'll tighten the bottom one up. All right, now we'll work on our front bracket. So now we're just gonna start by putting our front bolts in, 16 millimeters again with the flat washer, and then the lock washer, or the flat washer and the locking nut. I'm gonna put that and get that started. Same with the bottom one. Push that through, lined up pretty nice. Put the flat washer and the nut. Again, I'm gonna take my 17 millimeter wrench and then my 3 8 ratchet with my 16 millimeter and snug these up. And the same with the bottom one. Now you're gonna to wanna to just repeat this whole installation procedure on the opposite side. That wraps up this review and install of our Red Rock side armor with step pads, textured black for 21 and up Bronco four doors. Thanks for watching, and for all things Bronco, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.